here I have another multiplication for us to do. And we are going to do a three digit multiplier this time. So we're going to multiply 6,487 times 473. So again, we are going to decompose our multiplicand and our multiplier. So we'll start our multiplication with the units multiplier. 7 times 3 is 21. And then we can do 8 tens times 3 is 24 tens. So And now we have four hundreds times three. So that's going to give us 1,200. But we already have 200 here. So we have 200. We're adding 200 more to it. That gives us 400. Then 6,000 times three. Six times three is 18. So we're going to have 18,000. All right, now let's multiply by our tens multiplier so we can move our zero over there. 70 times seven. Seven ten times seven. Seven times seven is 49. 49 tens. So I need 49 tens. Well, I can get the nine tens and I need four. Well, let's see, one and three make four. So let's do that. Eight hundreds times seven. Eight times seven is fifty-six, so we need fifty-six hundreds. That's five thousand six hundred. Four thousand times seven. Four thousand times seven is twenty-eight thousands. Oh, the eight's already used. Let's do two plus six, that'll work. And 60,000 times seven, six ten thousands times seven, 42 ten thousands. So that means 420,000. Hmm, my 20 is already, so I have 20, I need 20 more. We're gonna add that together for 40,000. Okay, so we finished our tens multiplication. Now we're going to do our hundreds. So to do that, I'm going to multiply everything times 100 first to make our multiplications easier. 700 times 4 is 2,800. So that means we need a 2,000, and I already have it. So let's exchange 2,000 plus 2,000 is 4,000, and I need the 800. Now it's going to be 8,000 times 4. 8 times 4 is 32, so we need 32,000. Mm, we've got the cards for that. And here we have 40,000 times 4. That's 16 ten thousands. So that means we need a hundred. And our last one, 600,000 times four. That's going to be 2,400,000. So that's 2,400,000. Well, let's exchange. Four plus four is going to give us... 800,000. All right. We finished. Well, let's put our multiplicand back together. So now we have a lot of exchanging to do to get our final answer. This one's okay. 
we need to do, that's 13, 14, 15. I need 100, but there isn't one. Let me exchange this for the two, and then I can do the rest of the exchanging. Let's see, eight plus two is 10. 600, that's another 10, so we can leave that, and we just need to exchange this for two thousands. And there aren't any two thousands there. Hmm, how do we wanna do this one? We could just remember our two thousands. Let's do that. So we know we have there's 10, <clears throat> there's two, let's see, we've got up to, to 20,000 here, 26,000. Let's do this exchanging. We can put this here. And, oh, now we can count our two here. All right, so now we have 8,000. Let's exchange all that. Okay, now we have 8, 11, 15, 16, 10 thousands. And that's going to give us... So this all comes up to 10. So we have our, we need to exchange this for 100,000, which we don't have, but I'll add it to that one. Okay, and now we have 10 hundred thousands, which gives us a million. I'm just going to add it to that one. And exchange. So our final answer, the product of 6,487 times 473 is 3,068,351. 3 now you could do more three-digit multipliers.